and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Roshni Dhal. Let's look at today's top health highlights. Doctors measure blood pressure wrongly, according to a report. Recent research conducted in collaboration with the American Heart Association reveals that individuals with elevated blood pressure while lying flat on their backs face a higher risk of experiencing heart attacks, strokes, heart failure or premature death. The study led by Duck M. Chayu, a fourth-year MD student at Howard Medical School in Boston, highlights the significance of monitoring blood pressure in various body positions. It emphasizes that gravity can cause blood to pool when people are seated or upright and the body may struggle to regulate blood pressure effectively when lying down, sitting or standing. The research team examined health data from 11,369 adults participating in the atherosclerosis risk in community study, a long-term observational study. During the initial enrollment period from 1987 to 1989, participants had their blood pressure measured both while seated and briefly lying down at a clinic. These these individuals with an average age of 54 years at the time were followed for an average of 25 to 28 years until the fifth ARIC visit in 2011 and 2013. The study revealed that regular blood pressure measurements in a seated position might miss potential cardiovascular disease risk associated with lying supine on one's back. Researchers suggest that individuals with known risk factors for heart disease and stroke may benefit from having their blood pressure checked while lying flat on their backs. They also pointed out that managing blood pressure throughout daily life may help reduce blood pressure levels during sleep and future research should explore the comparison between supine blood pressure measurements in a clinical setting and overnight measurements. Well, it's worth noting that this study primarily focused on middle-aged adults at the time of enrollment which may limit the generalizability of findings to older populations. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.